Does the government work for us or do we work for the government? Is freedom in America a myth or is it a reality? Tonight, what if it's a myth? What if the government played you like a harp? What if it needed to manufacture consensus in order to justify its rule? What if most people were apathetic to the machinations of government, ignorant of its workings, and downright contemptuous about the things that new government was doing? What if government weren't of the people, by the people, or for the people? What if those were just phrases used to centralize power, distance it from the people, and eventually control the people? What if you were being controlled by the government and you didn't even know it? What if you thought you were free, but in reality your freedom was limited only to government-approved options? What if the Republicans and the Democrats actually referred to two wings of one political party, and that was the only party you could support? What if the so-called public opinion was actually just a reflection of the opinions acceptable to our ruling elites? What if matters of public policy were boiled down to two choices, not for simplicity's sake, but to prevent you from considering the ideas of other options that also exist? What if the ruling elites riled us up over our differences on opinions of marginal issues and of marginal importance in order to distract us from the truth that, uh, that we disagree with on important issues, policies that don't change even when the political parties in power do change? What if you had two choices, but they both supported more debt, more government, more war, and less freedom? What if even those labeled as political mavericks were simply a mix and match of the two choices the government gives you? What if the actual folks whose idea fo ideas fall outside the mainstream were ignored? What if the real mavericks were blacked out? What if their opinions were kept from you? What if when they got too popular, they got vilified and mocked and attacked instead of ignored, even as their rhetoric and their ideas are co-opted by the elites who don't even believe in them? What if government were the cause of our malaise? And what if, in order to cloud our understanding of the corrosive effects of government, the government instead pitted us against each other? What if some of the wealthiest among us weren't wealthy because of their own work and effort, but because they knew how to game the government to get what they want? What if the same government that promises, us to, promises to deliver us from the oligarchs is actually controlled by them? What if there were people who shared your discontent with the way things were, but those in the government convinced you that these people with whom you largely agree are really your enemies? What if government thought it knew what was good for you better than you did? What if government didn't see you as the purpose of its existence, but rather as a resource to exploit in order to further its own tenure and power? What if you weren't sovereign, but merely subject to the government? What if you didn't really own your land and your home and your property, but the government did? What if the government could condemn your property and take it from you and pay you for it against your will? What if the government could take your property without paying you for it? What if we were always at war? What if the government always spent more money than it collected? What if the government spent more of its efforts evading and avoiding the Constitution rather than supporting and defending it? What if the president could start any war and kill any foreign dictator that he wished? What if the president could decide that he had so much evidence of someone's guilt that no trial was needed? What if the president made himself judge, jury, and executioner over any American he chose? What if being an American didn't mean waving a flag, supporting the government, right or wrong, and pledging allegiance to a flag, but rather believing in liberty, exercising freedom, and pursuing your own happiness? What if we lived and let live instead of turning into the tools of government to force those who disagree with us to comply with our vision of the world? What if the government were just a gaggle of petty people playing out their power-hungry fantasies at the expense of our rights, our freedoms, and even our humanity? What if government actually is the greatest threat to our safety and freedom and not, as it claims, the guarantor of our safety and of our freedom? What if I'm right and the government is wrong? What if it's dangerous to be right when the government is wrong? From New York, defending freedom, danger or not.